All right. Not bad, not bad, Aquarius. All right. So you are you are sitting pretty. You are gorgeous. You are in it. People are attracted to you. You've got a lot of great ideas. People are celebrating you. Uh, people are celebrating what you are capable of. Uh, it's also kind of like the end of a cycle, but at the same time, it's so easy for you to let go because you know you're supposed to move on to something better. Like this, this, it's like, I feel like if you meet someone, it'll be in the first two weeks and it's going to be magical. Okay. And you guys are just going to be like, where have you been? I've loved you for so long. What's going on? And it's like, it feels like everything is just kind of falling into place. The only issue that you have is I think, um, if you know, this will be a new relationship or somebody that has been in your life, but you, you haven't had this type of connection with, you guys are going to be so celebratory, so excited to have one another that you may spend too much, you may go out too much, you may eat too many rich foods. So make sure to um, keep yourself in balance in regards to your life and your lifestyle. Like don't live with outside of your means. Don't live outside of your means because this is the month that could really kind of, you know, shake that situation. Though you have the funds for it, it, it'll just make you uncomfortable in the future. Also, uh, keep spirit involved in this relationship, okay? So make sure that you keep, um, you know, grateful that you met this person, grateful that they're in your life. And if they don't show up in the first two weeks, I do feel like there's going to be a switch in your life that is going to feel like a new relationship. So maybe a new job, um, that pops up and uh, to just remind yourself that yes you do deserve this but you also had help from universe and from friends and family around you stay grateful that's what the Hero font in reverse is warning you of is uh yes you do deserve this love yes you are beautiful aquarius yes thank you for being here but also you need to thank the people and the entities that helped you get there because it's like all of a sudden you're going to feel more connected. You're going to feel like you have the means. You're going to feel like you've got finally a home, a tribe. Um, and, and that's because of that, you could overextend yourself and just kind of throw yourself a little out of balance. But it, it's not a bad thing. It's just going to, you know, trying to find that pendulum swinging back and forth into the center. And I think it, it swung one way into detriment so long that now that you're finally seeing, like, the positive Aquarius, you just want to run with it. So just let it kind of settle back into the center before making any major, major purchases or... Um, you know, going to Tahiti with this loved one of yours that's coming in, okay? All right, so let's pull the Universal Love deck. I'm going to pull these two. These two are speaking dreams and expectancy. So this makes sense, expectancy, because we had the Empress pop up right here in the upright. So you, some of you guys might get pregnant, yeah? And you are single, and I'm a single mom, so I totally, um, I get it. But just, you know, if you don't want it to happen, be careful, because you are fertile, fertile myrtles, okay? And also your dreams, listen to your dreams. They are guidance for you. They are a gateway into um, your your intuition and the subconscious a level of situations in your everyday life. So make sure you're really paying attention to it. And uh, even I would keep it, I would definitely keep a dream journal this month, you know, keep a dream journal and um, focus on what's, what's coming up because it's, it's going to help you in deciding how to live your life, where to live your life, and who to live your life with. Dreams are a big thing for you this month. And have fun. You Well, I don't even need to tell you to have fun because I know that Aquarius singles, you guys are getting at it. So <laughs> awesome. All right, so let's move on to the couples. Hello, Aquarius couples. Let's look at love for April. So I've already shuffled the cards. If you prefer me to shuffle on screen, I will absolutely do that. Just let me know and I'll bring that back. Now this reading is for Aquarius couples. So one person in the relationship should have an Aquarius sun, rising moon, possibly Venus or Mars. Okay. All right. And let's see here. 
Let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading, calling in the divine. What messages do you have for my Aquarius couples in April? What energy, what messages do they need to know? What is the guidance for my couples? First, should I pick one of these? Yep, okay. Now, I'm also telling all of the signs, too, that your cards and the amount of cards that I pick will differ with other signs. This way I can stay organic and true to your reading and not do it under a, a, like a specific way that may not speak to you. So, justice reversed. We have king of staffs, two of pentacles, Queen of Swords reversed, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, and then the Two of Staffs. Okay. And that's in reverse. Four of Cups is in reverse. Two of Staffs is in reverse. So Aquarius, you are showing up in this deck, but you're showing up in the... Um, in the reverse queen of swords energy so aquarius libra gemini energy and i absolutely believe that it is you so uh what's going on aquarius couples what's going on aquarius like with this partner of yours if they are an aquarius or if you're the aquarius geez louise like I, I like i just feel like there's depression surrounding them there's something going on where they just feel really uneasy about their life not saying that it's going bad it's just they feel down like the two of pentacles and then the four of cups in reverse both of them it's like mm, I you, you know you just can't see the beauty in life it's like it's a little just out of grasps and like it's hard to see the future it's hard to see what's going on even though like this ace of cups is here six of cups is here this is beauty so this is a new beginning it's a new emotional beginning but in order to get there this you know it's like you have to push through you have to push through this this um pain and you know what like the king of staffs is on the other side so some of you guys are definitely married connected to a fire sign leo sagittarius aries energy and they're they're they don't see your sadness they don't see the depression of the aquarian person you know they're, they're like nope it's gonna be just fine <laughs> you know you know i'm not saying that this is like suicidal or anything like that in some regards it could be though remember there's a lot of people who watch these but i do feel like on a on a majority it's just um like I said, an unease, like a murkiness, like almost just being really tired. And so the king of staffs, this partner, is being so optimistic and positive, like, no, we can do it. Remember, I know who you were. I know how you act. I know where you've, where you've come from. And so they're basing what's happening right now on things that uh, happened 20 years ago, 10 years ago, and it's no longer who this Aquarius person is. So with the Ace of Cups, it's, um, you know, this beginning has to happen once the connection is opened, all right? Because the King of Staffs is actually trying to work on, you know, keeping the house together, keeping all of the finances together, making sure everything is running smoothly while the Aquarius person is just, you know, kind of struggling, kind of struggling this month and so needs some extra guidance, help, and love. Uh, but the king, the other person in the relationship just doesn't have it to give because they're taking care of everything else. And so in order to meet here at this Ace of Cups energy, um, both parties have to, to ease up a little bit, have to give a little bit more focus to each other. So if you are the Aquarius, you have to reach out and say, hey, my king, my king of staffs. I need you. I'm, I'm struggling over here and I know I'll get out of it, but I'd like to get out of it quicker with your help. And then if you are, you know, on this side and you're, you're the king of staffs and you've got that energy, the, the, the housework will happen. All of that will happen. And it won't even matter if you don't have a partner. So check in with your partner and ask them truly, Hey, what's going on? You seem a little off. 
let's let's go let's go on a walk let's go outside you know let's go get ice cream and engage them again so that you can you can help them through this this murky time okay so we're going to pull some universal love cards how many two so golden memories that's lovely it's really connected to the six of cups that was pulled and golden path how funny both of them are golden 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 all right so this is uh, your partnership is golden you know you guys are you are connected and so like how one of the the fire sign or the person who has kind of fire energy the get up and go uh is pulling things from the past saying yes remember when we did this remember when we did that remember this and it's almost irritating the aquarian it's almost irritating them to the point like that's not who i am let it go stop it but what they're trying to do is remind you of the connection and that connection is the you know always it's not just in the memories of the past it's just so happens that you know this fire sign or the person who is act who has a lot of fire energy is thinking that this is the best way to pull the aquarian out of the funk when the truth is a golden path is just to to walk it to walk it together and to allow each other a little bit of space and malleability to to maneuver in a new way. In fact, I really want to, I don't, the golden memories we're all good on, but the golden path I do want to read from the book for you. Golden path, continue your current course of action, even if you are experiencing unforeseen difficulties and obstacles. This card has shown up in your reading today to encourage you to keep going. Faith, perseverance, and conviction will lead you to your golden path. Now it is now is not the time to give up. A bright future is in the making, even though you cannot currently see it. I really feel like this is speaking greatly to my Aquarians, okay, in the relationship. Don't give up, Aquarius. Don't give up. It's starting to work. It's starting to happen. Just stay patient and keep stepping forward, forward, forward. Even though I know sometimes those steps, even those tiny steps, are very difficult. You have a beautiful partner who wants to see you thrive, wants to see you on the golden path, and is doing it maybe in a way that is irritating by trying to bring up past happy memories. But they're a little overwhelmed with all the work that they have to do to keep things running. So understand that. Understand each other. Talk. Connect. And it'll be so golden. <laughs> you feel a certain way, but you don't know if you want to act on it. You want something, but you're not too sure if it's healthy for you. And, and I think it's, it's, well, I know it's stemming back from an emotional situation from the past. So I do feel like somebody has come in from the past in a way and is stealing your joy right now. Like they came back because they, like almost like a hum to them, like, oh no, Aquarius is happy. Aquarius is feeling good. I better come back and ruin it, you know? And so it's like, you're like, ah, why are you back? I'm so happy to see you, but I don't want to see you. And, and so instead of, you know, battling yourself in this situation, let go of that situation. Like, that, that you're not the first sign I've had to say this to. This is the ongoing theme of April. Let go of that past situation, that past person who came in. You're good, Aquarius. You're all good. Everything is good for you. And so don't let this, this situation, this person taint you from the past. Be like, remember when? Do you remember when we used to drink until 5 o'clock in the morning and then we would get up at 6 and go to work still hungover and smelling? You know, like, you don't need to go back there, Aquarius. You don't need to relive, hash out the, the good old days in a way. They weren't that good, you know, that you were actually really unhealthy. They were actually really detrimental to you. And yes, you had to go through it. And yes, part of it was fun. But no, 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 that's not who you are anymore. So with the Seven of Swords, it's like, don't let the situation steal, steal your joy, steal your love, uh, you know, steal what you want right now. You know, revel in who you are and celebrate that. And don't look to the past to say, well, 
that in the past this is what I wanted and I didn't get it so I'm not successful. That's not true. In fact, you are exactly where you need to be and as soon as you let go of that, oh gosh, I should, I should really, I should have done something differently. I should have done this. I should have done that. Shoulda, coulda, wouldas. You're like, love is right there. Love is right there. The Five of Cups in reverse is saying, please take the lessons from the past forward, but don't take the past forward. Don't take the actions. Let it, let those go and be like, ah, you know what I learned from that? Thank you for that lesson. Now I know better and now I am stronger. All right. And this Page of Swords is kind of wielding, wielding the sword of truth for you. You know, I think the Page of Swords, this is an air sign like you, Aquarius. So Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Younger energy. And I think they just kind of like say something. They say something to you that opens you up and is like, aha, oh, you're right. I am acting crazy. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't go back in the past and live like that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I am stronger than that. <laughs> and so the Page of Swords, you know, probably says something that's a little harsh a little brash and and it's needed it's needed at that moment it's needed for you to understand like okay you you do actually have it together and you don't need to look anywhere else for it and as soon as you fall into that energy of ah yes here i am look at me as who i am now not as who i was in the past that's when things are going to it's like just dripping off, drip, drip off you so that you can find that union. And so May, I think, is going to very much, Aquarius, be about union, about connection with others and fated connection with others. So that's exciting. Now I'm going to call on the angel card just to bring it together. Okay, mediumship. You have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. And so that's also what could be happening here too. All right, because with the Six of Cups and this moon energy in the reverse and feeling questioning like, gosh, shoulda, coulda, woulda. So, you know, you could have somebody from the past, from an, you could have an ancestor, you could have somebody who has already passed over to the, to the other side coming back to you, speaking to you, trying to give you guidance, and instead of taking it as the guidance it is, you're taking it as a guilt, like, oh my gosh, I failed, when in actuality they are there to help and support you. So use that natural ability that you have to connect with the departed to reconcile yourself and to let go of the guilt and let go of all that and realize that they are there to support you and see you rise. And then once you realize that, you can carry that forward and into this lovely little lover situation. I'm excited for you in May, okay? 